What's up YouTube? So today I have a very special clip for you. This is a ranked game I played quite recently the other day. Now, um, first off, you have to look at the team composition. We have a Revive Mordekaiser and a Telly Mordekaiser. Okay, I've never seen a Telly, or, excuse me, a Revive Summoner spell on a person for a ranked game for the longest time ever probably the last 200 or 300 ranked games so I'm thinking this guy's a troll and right now as you can see I don't have a support bot um, I think something screwy is going on and he's definitely not going to support me um, he's he seems to be counter jungling so this is pretty screwed up um, I was pretty mad because um, during Q uh, as you can see there he just walked into a turret and died so um, you can pretty much see that this is a pretty much screwed up game already and as you can see here I won't have his support so um, before I uh, continue this clip is sped up by two times because I wanted to fit the whole thing into a uh, single gameplay on YouTube and as you can see here our Mordekaiser is now in mid denying Anivia CS and pretty much trolling I thought at first that Mordekaiser might have been trying to counter jungle but when he just walked straight into the turret and died I had some problems and I, I, I really thought he was trolling so before I continue there um, at this point in the game a lot of people would have uh, had a certain mindset and thought to themselves GG this game is over surrender at 20 uh, we can't win um, good game well I've picked up a mindset that I find a lot of high elo players and a lot of good players have though not all players have it and that's the idea that you can't you always have to think optimistically you should never surrender there are very few opportunities where I choose to surrender on my own free will usually even if I'm losing pretty badly I still think I could possibly win and a lot of the time I, I uh, miraculously do manage to pull off a win like I do in this game as you'll see so um, as you can see here I am 2v1 bottom and um, right now I'm doing fairly decent you can see earlier comes down trying to gank but um, it just doesn't work out because uh, our Sivir is just, uh, I mean, it's it's 2v1 right now. So as you can see, um, because Alistar is zoning me out, I do have to uh, pretty much, uh, as you can see by tr chat, uh, Mordekaiser is effectively trolling. So um, because Alistar is zoning me out, I pretty much have to uh, stay back and just get the CS I can. I will be fairly starved, but there's nothing I could do about that. Um, because if I if they push a minion wave to my turret, I have to clear the turret as fast, or excuse me, clear the minion wave as fast as I can, um, in order to prevent them from taking the turret down fast. And that's the main goal. Um, the main goal is not to die and not to give them the turret because um, it's not about CS because I know I'll lose that because Alistar is zoning me out badly and if I try and get go CS I'll die and the reason I can't die and the reason I have to clear the minion wave as fast as I can is because um, if I die they'll probably be able to uh, take this turret down in one minion wave and that's really bad because now they will be effectively roaming the jump roaming the entire map and it's going to be two new roamers in the map while top and bottom are still working on their lanes so um i have the 2v1 bot success successfully and if i die it's the same thing you know they'll be able to take the turret clearing the minion wave just helps prevents them from hitting the turret or hitting me so um <coughs> i do have to give up cs because of that and because it, 
you see here if I move in too close and try and farm in last hit um, Sivir and Alistar will CC me down with his headbutt smash and all this other stuff and pretty much kill me now um, this does take a lot of skill but uh, I do think they didn't do the best job they weren't aggressive enough like right here uh, they probably could have turret dived me and killed me but I made my I made it uh, my point to clear the minion wave as fast as I can as you can see they decided to turret dive too late and boom they're caught out and stuck in uh, the brush so um, they make a bad move here they decide to come back around and get uh, a lot of aggro from the turret and I almost I almost managed to kill her but I get headbutted by um, Ali Star, and uh, this is sped up two times, by the way. So I think YouTube has an option that allows you to uh, sp slow it down or speed it up. So if you want to see it in real time, just slow it down one half. So I, unfortunately, I couldn't kill them because I was uh, headbutted away by Ali Star and exhausted, and my flash came up fairly too late. But um, it's still a win because I managed to pretty much get them both down to really low health and m cause them to back, which is really good for 2v1. Um, if my flash had come up 5 seconds sooner, I would have been able to kill Sivir. Um, so right now, um, Mordekaiser is still pushing mid. Uh, they do manage to take mid turret because it's 2v1 mid um, they probably screwed up CS wise because Mordekaiser's stealing CS from Manivia but nonetheless they do manage to take mid now it's important to always ward that brush I do get CC'd a little bit because of that but uh, it's really important to ward that brush um, a lot of carries will choose not to because they're like oh that's the support's job I need the gold for damage However, when you have a crappy or non-existent support, um, it's better to spend a little bit of cash on wards and prevent a death rather than, you know, going out blind and having a little bit extra damage. So as you can see here, since um, mid is taken, they can effectively roam more. And we almost, we had four bottom, but it turns out they went back. So um, that's fine. Another thing is you always have to uh, think carefully and when you're 2v1 bottom sometimes the goal is not to go for a kill because that's probably impossible. Um, sometimes you just have to clear the minion waves as fast as you can so you can prevent them from getting to your turret and or taking down a turret. So um, you see me a lot alting the minion wave to clear it fast rather than uh, saving that for a kill because it's probably not possible <coughs> they do manage to take our bottom turret though so um, that does have to happen eventually unfortunately I wasn't able to uh, defend that forever but it was pretty good because it took them 17 minutes 17 minutes is a long time to take a turret especially for 2v1 so um, they now have to uh, they're pretty much screwed because Mordekaiser was able to roam while I 2v1 which gave us a little bit of an advantage um, he was also managed to counter jungle a little bit and steal some uh, CS and stuff <coughs> as you can see here I do get caught out uh, a little bit but I do manage to almost kill Sivir as you can see I popped a heal she pops her heal and all and starts running away Unfortunately, I'm not able to catch up to her, so I decide to just run away. Another good thing about this is I'm drawing two people to me. So, um, I have two of my opponents occupied at all times, which gives four of my teammates at a, an advantage to continue on. So, um, moving on, again, about this mindset, you can't freaking always think to yourself uh, GG 
we're going to lose because our team composition isn't ideal because we have one troll on our team who's pretty much feeding and has no idea what he's doing <laughs> after talking to him um, he, this guy Mordekaiser was actually pretty good he knew he what he, he was doing and I think I'll explain the strategy later but uh, he wasn't a complete troll so you can't always judge things from the cover or judge a book by uh, its cover and as you can see here boom our Navy and Warwick managed to kill a few people but we do get caught out our Warwick dies our Nivea barely manages to get away how do I escape here I flash over the wall so again a lot of things you just have to uh, be very careful about and uh, never give up there's so many games where I chose not to give up and I chose not to surrender even though it looked like it was a complete loss and I miraculously managed to win as you can see Mordekaiser is always severely overextended but I talked to him after the game and he told me uh, see this is just stupid he dies to the turret again which is just retarded but um, I mean at least die to a a gank from someone but anyhow um, so I talked to him after the game and what he told me was that uh, the reason why he continued to overextend see I get caught out here but uh, there's nothing I could do um, the reason why he uh, chose to overextend that much was uh, again another reason why it didn't matter too much why I was caught out because he had very few kills and assists which is why what he told me so um, each time he died he gave very little gold to the opposing team now you can see I was zero 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 all the way up until my turret was destroyed but you can see here Mordekaiser continues to pretty much push and die the reason is because he has Telly and Revive so he can continuously backdoor and Telly straight there it causes the opposing team to be completely continuously preoccupied with him uh, this is what he told me after the game um, and it's a lose-lose situation for the um, opposing team because if they spend all this time staying back or walking back to gank him they will uh, be ignoring us and the four of us will be able to do whatever we want whether it's securing objectives like dragon or taking down a turret or farming or uh, anything pretty much but if they choose the other option and decide to ignore Mordekaiser and take and fight us at our tur turrets uh, one we will be protected by our turrets so it's not that effective two Mordekaiser as you can see he's been pretty much taking down turret after turret pushing the lane extremely far which does a bunch of things one it creates a huge crowd of minions that will continue to push on its own the second thing is um, the minion wave uh, excuse me the turrets will be destroyed so if they continue to ignore him turret after turret will go down also the thing is we can so effectively um, 4v5 them at our turrets because I mean we've, we've been doing pretty well um, I think we at one point during this game we 2v5 them at our turrets um, mainly because some of them were already almost dead in health and because we were pretty much full HP and uh, we were fairly skilled and I've been 2v1 them the longest time see this Mordekaiser gets caught out again I choose not to help him like uh, Warwick does because right now it's 4v5 so I can choose to stay back and just uh, passively you know shoot a few times in because I know if I go in I would die too if I try to save him so uh, this is the conclusion of my video so always keep in mind my uh, mindset and I'll see you guys later also I want to keep in mind that there are certain thing certain people even in higher elo who have a bad, bad mindset and I do advise you not to follow them because they usually will fall down in ELO. Um, a lot of good people like I think Hotshot GG have done the same thing with their mindset where they refuse to surrender. Scar for sure. 
uh, during their streams and I've seen a good mindset with them and that's why they managed to pull off amazing comebacks in game so if you wanna subscribe please do so and follow me for more I'll see you guys later